Hey guys, today we are going to be using coffee filters and washable markers to do some color diffusion. First thing you need to do is take one coffee filter and flatten it out. If you don't have a coffee filter, a paper towel will work too. If you'd like to do drawings that won't move around with water, you need to use a Sharpie or permanent marker. The rest will be done with washable water-based markers. First, you need to fill in any areas that you want to be completely saturated with color with washable marker. Notice that I'm using the three primary colors. When I use water and I start to make the colors diffuse, the colors will actually blend together and move around. Where the two primary colors meet, a new one will be created. This will happen between all three primary colors. Now I'm going to try a little bit different design to see how this one turns out. Keep in mind, putting certain colors next to each other will create new colors when they blend and diffuse. And I'll try one final one. Notice that I've written love and drawn two hearts with a permanent marker. These will not move around with water but the rest will because I'm using washable marker for the color. Now that I've finished coloring, I'm ready to start the color diffusion with water. First of all, you need a space that you can get messy, so I'm going to use a baking pan. Then I'm going to put my coffee filter on aluminum foil. If I put it on paper, the marker color will seep into the water, so I'm going to use it on aluminum foil to keep all of the color in the coffee filter. Now I'm using a small spray bottle. You can use any spray bottle that you have at home and fill it with water. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can use a paintbrush and paint it or flick water onto it. The goal is to completely saturate your coffee filter with water. This will cause the colors to move around and start to diffuse and combine. Notice that I'm pinching the coffee filter in order to move some of the colors around. Again, make sure you're using a surface that you can get messy, put aluminum foil down, and then saturate your coffee filter with water. The more water you use, the more your colors will move around and mix. Remember that anywhere that you use the Sharpie marker, it will not move around. Now that I've saturated all three of my coffee filters with water, it's time to let them dry. I let these three dry out overnight and it's important not to pick them up while they're drying or the colors could combine a little bit too much. So how do they turn out? Let's check them out. And here we have our coffee filter color diffusion. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.